to the end. Hello everyone and welcome to Action RPG. I'm your host Aaron. And for today's video, we're headed to the world of Last Epoch once again, part of my boot camp series, How To. And what do I have for you today? How to skip the campaign, kind of, okay? Just wanna say that right at the beginning, the big part of this is you can kind of skip the campaign. And don't worry, I'm gonna explain it all to you. Now, inside of Last Epoch, we're gonna start with the most basic, and that is basically, you can get power leveled. So if you have a friend, literally at level one, you log into the game, you haven't even moved your character yet, you could group up, teleport to him, and you can run end game content through the monolith at level one. Now, a couple of things that they have changed. You can't be dead. So if you're dead on the ground, you will not just continuously level up, which means one, you have to stay alive. And two, you got to be kind of by your friend. And when I mean kind of by your friend, you just can't kick it up at the entrance to the monolith. You normally got to be about two screens away. So you could still be safe, okay, but you just can't die and sit there at the entrance. And you will fly up in your levels and never have to play the campaign. But even though I do that and do that for players, there is something you will miss. Something that is required to be good end game. And that is these little rewards right here. I'll throw a little arrow up on screen so you can see. You can also see I haven't even finished my passive points yet, but that's okay. You have idle slot rewards, eight out of eight, that you will get from the campaign. These are like your charms from D2. And then you have free passive point rewards and you can get a maximum of 15. And the only way you can get these rewards is through going through the campaign. But that doesn't mean you actually have to run the beginning of the campaign to the end of the campaign because there are ways that you can skip the campaign. OK, and that's what we're going to talk about for this next segment. Now, before I talk about how you can skip the campaign, you should probably know if you don't have any friends to play with. And you ha and this is your first character. Congratulations. You get to play the campaign from the beginning all the way till the end, because you won't have any mechanics to actually skip, okay? If this is your first playthrough and you're not getting boosted, just start running the campaign, learn the story. The campaign is designed to be a tutorial for how to craft, how to play to get you ready for endgame. While you are progressing through the campaign, you are gonna find keys, lots and lots of keys. And the main keys you want to find are Lightless Arbor, Soulfire Bastion, and the Temporal Sanctum. These are the three dungeons currently in the game. And how these dungeons operate is obviously for end game. It is a end game mechanic that gives you specific rewards per dungeon. But for the campaign, it allows you to have campaign skips. I always give the example of if you've played Mario 3, one of my favorite games of all time, you had the whistle. And the whistle let you go through the tubes and transport through time. Basically kind of the same idea, but here you are using dungeon keys. Now it is debatable. Some people say, oh, you know, you don't, it doesn't jump you far enough, or a lot of people don't have a character that can jump through the campaign that is too low level, or sometimes it's just faster to just run through it. It is gonna be different for everybody, but what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go through each dungeon and show you where it spits you out. All right, so we just completed the Lightless Arbor. And when I click on my map, you will see that this is where I went in. We went through Titan's Hollow to then Titan's Rest. And then when you are at the end, you just got all your loot from the vault. We're going to run over here. And it's gonna pop you out at the Corrupted Lake. Now, just to further clarify, when we beat the Lightless Arbor, it takes us to the Corrupted Lake, and the Corrupted Lake shoots us over to the Risen Lake in the Imperial Era, okay? So we did jump a large swath of the campaign, and as you can see, you are very close to our next jump, which is the Soulfire Bastion, okay? I'm gonna finish this and we'll see you at the end. All right, we have completed the Soul Fire Bastion. And when you look at the map, we went through Soul Fire Keep, 
And right now we're at the Soul Furnace. And once you're done with the Gambler, you will come right over here and you will click on the Divine Era. And now we are going to teleport. Are you ready? <gasps> Ooh, we're traveling through space and time together. Me and my minions, of course. And we are here. We are here. Where are we exactly? Well, you will see. You will see with a short loading screen. Come on, last epoch. There we go. And you will see that it has shot us out right here in the Divine Era. So we've gone from the Ruined Era to the Imperial Era to now the Divined Era. And what's really cool about getting shot out in the Divine Era is because in Hyboria, which is where we're at right now, is the place where you're going to get your final passives and idle slots. You don't actually have to complete the story to get all those. As you are traversing along the way, they're not going to give them to you, so you still not need to complete those quests. But a big chunk of them are going to be right here in this section. This is also where we have the Champion's Gate. So you are right here. You just backtrack a little bit. You can go to the Champion's Gate, and this is where you run your arena. This is also where the training dummy is done. But we still have one more dungeon. All right, we have beaten the Temporal Sanctum, which is the hardest of all three dungeons. And the minimum area for the Temporal Sanctum is 55. So be ready before you go in. Now, in the Temporal Sanctum, you could change between different eras. You got to hit D and you want to be in this version. And then you're going to run up here. A lot of people get confused and they actually just teleport out. No, you have to run through this corridor up into here and then click. Where does it spit you out? That is the question. Come on. It can do it. It can do it. And where are we right now? We are now in chapter nine. We are in the final chapter. So as you can see through this video, we went from the ruined era to the imperial era to the divine era. And then we made it all the way to chapter nine. This jumped us from five to nine. OK, and that is how you skip the campaign jumping through the dungeons. Some people think it's value added, some don't. But if you noticed, there was one boss you will not have to fight in the campaign and still get all your attribute points and still get all your passives. And that is Lagan. You hate that fight, you could literally skip that campaign fight altogether by using your keys. So that's the video. I hope it was helpful for this series in Aaron's Boot Camp. We have lots of videos here about how to. We've got how to build an effective loot filter, how to build an effective stash, basic crafting, end game crafting, lots of other goodies. Now you know how to skip the campaign. Hopefully you're entertained or at least learn something. Aaron, out.